Something is coming. Huh? What's coming? <gasps> it is here. <gasps> Sandstorm! <laughs> Hit subscribe and click the like icon. Woohoo! Do you see Jane or Zumi yet? No. Sand Dune ahead, Leo. All right. Hit the brakes, Katie. They found us. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zumi. Hi, Leo. Look at this place. It's huge. <laughs> but I see you got yourself a sunboard. Nobody said ranger work can't be fun. We can take turns on it. Now, hold on to this tightly. Stand up straight. Don't let go. Something is coming. Huh? What's coming? <gasps> it is here. <gasps> Sandstorm! Wait, where's Hero? <gasps> Hero! I'll find him. Hurry, get inside. Got it. Okay? Yep. We sure are. I'm glad we got out of that sandstorm in time. You okay, Hero? You scared us. <laughs> huh? huh? That's not Hero. Oh, no. I grabbed the wrong animal. I'm so sorry, but what are you? And what's with those enormous ears? Over here. I sent you a photo of it, Katie. Can you find out more? Sure, Leo. That is a fennec fox. The fennec fox is the smallest fox in the world. And it lives in the desert. Those big ears help it to release heat so it can stay cool in the hot desert. That's not all. Fennec foxes don't need much water and they have fur-covered feet to protect them against the hot sand. They're perfectly suited for desert living. But Hero isn't. And he's out there alone. Sandstorm or not, we've got to go back for him. Let's go! What are you waiting for, Jane? Come on! <sighs> we are too late. <gasps> Uh-oh. Maybe there's another exit. <sighs> but I can barely see ahead. It's too dark. Just use a torchlight. <gasps> Good thinking. Who's there? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky? Do you know how to get out of here, Ranger Rocky? We have to find Hero. Hero? Huh? Where is he? I wanted to grab Hero and escape the sandstorm, but I grabbed a fennec fox instead. Well, we can all take a lesson from your new buddy and dig our way out. Fennec foxes use their paws as shovels to dig burrows in the sand. In fact, their burrows can go pretty deep. So, if we all start digging like the fennec fox, we should be out of this cave pretty soon. Then what are we waiting for? Let's start digging! All right! Ah, it feels great to be out of that cave. The sandstorm has stopped. Now let's go find Hero. I trust that you're in good hands, Junior Rangers. If anyone can help you find Hero, it's the fennec fox. Besides its ability to dig, it also has great hearing and a keen sense of smell. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! The sandstorm has shifted the sand around, but I'm certain this is the place. Hero! <laughs> the fennec fox found something. What is it? <gasps> it's Hero's backpack! Look, a 
the burrow. Wait, come back. We need your help. Don't worry. We won't lose him. Good thinking, Katie. Where's it going? <gasps> Baby fennec foxes. So it wasn't looking for Hero after all. Hold up. Hero! Hero! <gasps> You're okay. I'm sorry I left you behind. We would not have found Hero without the Fennec Fox's help. Thank you. And I'm really sorry I grabbed you by mistake. It seems Hero made new friends while we were gone. Bye, Bye Fennec, Fennec Foxes! Foxes. <laughs> Holy moly! A mole! That's a mole, Hero. Moles live in holes and tunnels that they dig underground. We call those tunnels burrows. <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What's up? Hi, Leo. I'm in South Australia right now, and you won't believe what I just found. It's a large burrow with mysterious tracks all around the entrance. And guess what? There are cube-shaped rocks stacked outside. <laughs> Yuck! And they're stinky. I wonder what animal lives inside. I'll send you guys a photo of the stinky cube-shaped rocks. Stinky cube-shaped rocks? That's weird. Kyle, we'll look for more information about this mysterious animal. In the meantime, be careful and don't go into the burrow. We don't know what could be inside. Roger that. I'll be right outside waiting. We'll get back to you soon. Ranger out. It seems the rock isn't a rock after all. It's poop, and it belongs to the wombat. Wombats are the only animals known to produce poop that's cube-shaped. Wombats are also one of the largest burrowing mammals in the world. So Kyle found a wombat's burrow. He wouldn't go in without us, would he? Hello? Is anybody in there? Are these cube-shaped rocks yours? Hello? Yeah. Oh, no. That's not good. Hi, Leo. It's me again. Hi, Kyle. You're breaking up. Is everything all right? Yeah, uh, about that. We found more information about the animal you were looking for. It's a wombat. And the stinky rocks you saw are actually the wombat's poop. So I'm stuck in a wombat burrow? Cool. Stuck? What do you mean? Well, I was just waiting outside the burrow, but then I fell inside. By accident. And the entrance collapsed behind me. Oh, no! Are you okay, Kyle? I'm fine. It's just a little dark in here. But I have some snacks with me, so all's great. Good. Katie and I will be right over to get you out of there. Ranger, out. Oh, well. When in trouble, have some chocolate. It's so big. I wonder what animal lives in there. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. What were you doing in there? I was practicing my burrowing skills with these claws. What are you doing here? Junior Ranger Kyle is stuck in a burrow after finding some cube-shaped poop. But we're having trouble finding him. Cube-shaped poop? That has to be from a wombat. Wombats leave their cube-shaped droppings outside burrows to mark where they live so other animals stay away. When startled, they may dive back into it. Is everything all right? Not really. I ran out of chocolate. Are you here yet? Hey, what's the sound? <gasps> it's a baby wombat. Look, I found a new friend. Ah, uh, it's so cute. I'm glad you found a friend, Kyle. Hang in there. We're coming for you. Ranger out. There's no time to waste. Let's split up to look for him. Ranger Rocky, can you take that part of the forest? We'll take the other. Great idea, Leo. Good luck, Junior Rangers. 
Leo, it's a wombat. Could the burrow that Kyle is trapped in belong to that wombat? Let's follow it and find out. <gasps> it's a dingo! Hero, come back! No, Leo. We should be following the wombat instead. It might lead us to its burrow and Kyle. I'm sure Hero will be fine. He'll be able to handle the dingo. We have to save Kyle. You're right, Katie. Let's go. A wombat burrow. It's the exact same stack of poop. Kyle's hat. We are at the right burrow. Be careful, Katie. It might be the dingo. Ranger Rocky! Hero, you're all right! Hello, Junior Rangers. I saw Hero chasing a dingo away. Is everybody all right? Yes, we are. Is this the burrow Kyle is trapped in? Yes, it is. Well then, what are we waiting for? I'm glad I practiced my burrowing skills. Let's help them too, Katie. They're here! You see that, baby wombat? My friends are here to save me! Hero found something. Pants? Thanks for coming to get me, guys. Can I have my pants back? Hero tried to pull me out, but he pulled my pants off instead. It was nice meeting you today, baby wombat. Thanks for letting me stay in your home for a while. And thank you for getting me out of there, guys. Oh, I wish I could offer you some chocolate, but I'm all out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this mess. We should put these tools away, Leo. Sure, Katie. How did that get in there? Whoa! That's not a bone, Hero. Hey! Hero, no! Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. How are you today? Back, hero. Hi, Leo. Oh, sorry, I'm just so tired. I was sleeping in a tree in the Tasmanian forest, but there was a high-pitched screech coming from somewhere. And now all the animals are stressed and jumpy. Did you say a loud, high-pitched screech? Yeah, I'm calling because I can't tell which animal made the screech. And I can't locate it either, because it's coming from all directions. That's strange. It stopped for a while, but I'm worried, Leo. Can you help me identify the animal? I'll send you a recording of it. Aha! Got it! What was that sound, Leo? That screech was heard in the Tasmanian forest last night. Kyle is unsure which animal it comes from. I can run the recording through the computer to find out more. Awesome. Let's see what animal the screech belongs to. There. The screech belongs to a Tasmanian devil. That's a scary name for an animal that looks so cute. Well, they're not exactly cute and cuddly, Leo. Tasmanian devils are easily angered when they're threatened or when fighting for food. They'll show their teeth and growl, making the sound we just heard. The Tasmanian devil might be in trouble. That could be a cry for help. In that case, Katie, we should go check it out. Hi, Kyle. Are you feeling better? Yeah, I splashed some water on my face and I feel more awake now. Did you find anything? Guess what? The screech belongs to a Tasmanian devil. We think it could be in trouble. We'll be coming over to Tasmania to find it. Hey, guys. Welcome to Tasmania. Hi, Kyle. The screeching has stopped for a while now, so maybe the Tasmanian devil left. I'll scan the area using my audio frequency sensor. Found it. Good job, Katie. Let's head over there right now. It's coming from over there. 
Careful, Katie, watch out! <gasps> Thanks, Leo. Look, it's the Tasmanian Devil! Wow, that's deep! The Tasmanian Devil is trapped! That must be why he was calling out all night! We have to help get him out! Hmm, there has to be a way! Ah, that might work! Here, Tasmanian Devil, grab hold of the stick! I don't think that's going to work, Kyle. Besides, that looks dangerous. Just a little more! Ah! Gotcha! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Thank you for saving me, Ranger Rocky. You have to be more careful, Junior Ranger. Look! Whoa! Yep, that's a Tasmanian Devil, all right. Tasmanian Devils have powerful jaws with sharp teeth. They have an extremely strong bite. In fact, it is so strong that it's able to bite through metal wires. Tasmanian devils are also known to eat a lot. They especially love to eat meat. It would be wise not to get too close to a Tasmanian devil. So we have to get the Tasmanian devil out, but we can't get too close to him. And Ranger Rocky mentioned that they eat a lot. I got it! We can put some food in the cage and lower it to lure the Tasmanian Devil in. Then we close the door with the remote and transport him back to his home. Great idea, Leo! Does anybody have any food? I've got some meat pies in my ATV. Meat, meat pie? pies? Yeah, it's for when I stay over in the bush. Mm, mm. A little more to the left. You're nearly there. Touchdown! All clear! It's working! He's going in! Huh? Why won't it shut? What's going on, Katie? He's almost done eating the meat pies. Huh? What's that? Oh, it's Hero Saliva from this morning. That's why the remote is acting funny. Got it. Oh, no! I'm too late! It's okay, Katie. We can try again with another meat pie. But we don't have any left. Ranger Rocky, do you have any meat pies left? Sorry, Leo. I'm all out. Kyle? Mm. Nope. No, Hero, don't eat that. We need that meat pie to save the Tasmanian Devil. Hero, no. Hero's not eating it. He's helping us. Quick, Katie, open the cage door. Good job, Hero! Yes! We did it! <laughs> I guess that's his way of saying thanks! You're welcome! I'm glad we managed to save the Tasmanian Devil and return him to his home. Embark on an incredible adventure with Leo the Wildlife Ranger. Choose a level. Dive into thrilling challenges and solve fun puzzles, all while exploring the wonders of nature. Tons of captivating gameplay and educational content await as you help Mother Nature and save the Earth. Introducing offline play and watch videos on the go. No internet connection needed. Leo the Wildlife Ranger Kids Games app. Download now and let the journey begin. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. Exciting news. I just discovered a completely new breed of animal. It has the bill and webbed feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and the tail of a beaver. Wow, that does sound very unusual. I'm gonna name it the Kylosaurus. It disappeared before I could get a picture. Oh wait, there it is again. I'm gonna try to take a photo of my amazing discovery and send it to you. Talk to you later. Ranger out. Ranger out. An animal with the bill and webbed feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and a... What did he say again? A tail like a beaver. Hmm, that animal sounds familiar. Okay. It's a platypus. 
platypus. The platypus, also known as the duck-billed platypus, looks like an otter, but it has a duck bill, webbed feet, and a tail like a beaver. Here's another unusual fact about the platypus. While other mammals give birth to their young, platypuses are one of the few mammals who lay eggs instead. Hi, Kyle. Guys, I think the Kylosaurus, I mean the platypus, wants me to follow it. What is it, buddy? You want to show me something? But my ATV can't go into the water. But our Jeep, the Platypus One, can. Sounds like the Platypus needs help. Send us your location, Kyle. We'll be right over. On it. See you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. No worries. They'll be here soon. That's them. In their very own Platypus. Hey, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Anytime, Kyle. All right, buddy. Lead the way. Wow, it's quick. Then we better keep up. Platypus One, activate. How can something that walks so slowly swim so quickly? Platypuses are able to swim gracefully underwater by paddling with their front webbed feet and steering with their hind feet and tail. Uh-oh. Hang on, guys. Rough water's ahead. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! That was close. Uh, help! Kyle! Oh, no! Kyle fell in the water. Katie, take the wheel. Got it, Leo. Kyle, I'm going to throw you a rope. Just grab hold of it and we'll pull you in. Roger that. Hero, get the rope and give it to me. Kyle, quick, grab the rope and tie it around your boomerang, then throw it to me. Here it comes. Oh, no. Got it. Just a little Head, Kyle. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> and thank you, Hero. Is everybody all right? You bet. A little water never hurt nobody. Hey, where's the platypus? Look, it's over there. It just went underwater for a bit. Let's follow that platypus. Hi, hi, Captain. Hey, it stopped. What's it doing to that tree trunk? It looks like it's trying to get to something behind it. What's behind the tree, little buddy? I bet that the platypus is trying to get to her young inside her burrow. Ranger Rocky! Rocky! Platypuses live in burrows found along lakes, rivers, and streams. They prefer to build their burrows on banks with roots or beneath dense vegetation or rocks making it hard to spot. The fallen tree must be blocking the entrance to her burrow. That's why she needs our help. Let's hook that tree to Platypus One and get it out of the way. Ranger Rocky, do you think you can help us with the winch? Of course, Junior Rangers. I'll help too. Stand clear. There was a burrow there. We did it! I hope everything is okay in there. Good thinking, Hero. Now let's see where she went. Baby platypuses! We did it! We reunited the platypus family. The platypus has got to be one of the strangest creatures ever. I just wish I had discovered it first. Don't worry, Kyle. I'm sure you'll discover an animal that's just as cool. Guys, do you see that? Is it a worm? Is it a bug? I think it might be a new species. I'm going to call it the Kyla Pillar. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, Junior Rangers. Are you ready to play a game? Let's get Ranger Joey to play with us. 
Hello, Junior Ranger Leo. Are you and your friends ready? We've got this. Wow, that is one big animal. This animal is known for its large ears, long trunk, and ivory tusk. It's big and very strong. Oh, that sounds familiar. They're surprisingly good swimmers too. Can you guess the animal? That's right, it's an African bush elephant. That was fantastic, Junior Rangers. Yeah, that was fun, Ranger Joey. Thanks, and Ranger out. Ranger out. Thank you for helping me out. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I'll see you again next time. <gasps> huh? What was that? Excuse me. Are you okay, Katie? I feel fine, Leo. <sighs> Are you sure? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. I found a proboscis monkey that lost its hunk. A proboscis monkey? That's right. They're known for their honks, but this monkey just can't do it. That's a pretty big nose. <laughs> Choo! That was a loud sneeze. It's Katie. I think she has a cold. <sighs> and a really stuffy nose. A stuffy nose? Of course! Maybe the proboscis monkey has a cold too. It can't honk because of its stuffy nose. Good thinking, Farah. We'll be right over to help. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. There it is. The proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkeys have large noses. Male proboscis monkeys have larger noses than female proboscis monkeys. In fact, a male's nose can measure over 10 centimeters. So the monkey Farah found is a male. That's right. Their large noses help them honk louder, while proboscis monkeys use a variety of sounds to communicate. Males in particular tend to honk to attract females and scare off intruders. We have to help him get his honk back. Hi, guys. Hello, Farah. <laughs> I found him sitting alone. <gasps> oh, dear. I'm fine. I don't have a cold. Let me check my handbook. Are you sneezing, Katie? I'm not. <laughs> Choo! Check. You have a cold. And just like the proboscis monkey, my handbook says you need to keep warm. I don't need to. <sighs> this feels nice. Thanks for the scarf, Farah. But I don't think keeping warm is enough. Katie's right. What else can we do? It says here that healthy foods can fight a cold. There are plenty of fruits in the forest, and fruits are healthy. Great idea, Farah. Let's go pick some for the monkey. This ripe fruit looks good. The proboscis monkey will love it. No ripe fruits for the monkey. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> the proboscis monkey can't have any ripe fruits. Because of how their stomachs work, it's dangerous for proboscis monkeys to eat ripe fruits. They might fall sick from it. Instead, proboscis monkeys prefer unripe fruits. Like this one, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's perfect. Besides unripe fruits, proboscis monkeys also eat leaves. Leaves sound healthy too. So we'll have to pick leaves and unripe fruits for the proboscis monkey. Glad I could swing by to help. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Can you honk now? Oh, dear. It didn't work either. What else can we do? Huh? What's happening? Hey! Where are you going? Wait for us! Whoa! Let's follow them. Behind. Let's cheer him on, hero. Jetpack activate. 
Oh dear, what's going on? The other monkeys are ignoring him because he can't honk. That's horrible. That's it. We have to help him get his honk back. Must find a treatment. Got it. Another way to clear a stuffy nose is to use steam. Steam? I have just that. Here, Leo, place this under the monkey's nose. Great idea, Farah. The hot steam from the tea will clear his nose. Here, Katie, you need this too. Ah, wow. I can finally breathe normally again. And you said you didn't have a cold. Can you honk now, monkey? It's still not working. Wait, what's that sticking out of his nose? <gasps> Something stuck. It's coming out there. A leaf? Yeah. 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 He's honking. Yeah. It wasn't a stuffy nose. His nose was stuffed with a leaf. They're friends again. Bye, monkey. Have fun. <laughs> Let's go home, Katie. We need to get you to bed. Mission accomplished. Jane, what's up? Hello, Leo. I found two baby elephants playing by their river. But one of them looks sad. Just look at this photo. What? A sad baby elephant? We can't have that. We need to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Can you and Katie come over to help me do that? Of course, Jane. We'll be there right away. Great. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's see if we can find any relevant information about them. Right behind you, Katie. Here it is, the African bush elephant. African bush elephants are the world's largest land mammal. An average elephant can weigh up to 6,000 kilograms and measure up to 3.3 meters high. Wow, it's so much taller than Ranger Rocky. Elephants are known for their trunks, large ears, and ivory tusks. Their large ears help them stay cool. And unlike us, 
elephants can flap their ears. You mean like this? <laughs> Without using your hands, Leo. But it made you laugh. Hey, I know how to cheer the baby elephant up. There they are. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zoomy. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Are those the elephants, Jane? Yes, they are brothers. Their younger brother is the one that is upset. The younger brother kind of reminds me of you, Katie. Uh-huh. Oh, here they come. Gee, thanks. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, no. Is there something wrong with his trunk? Yeah. Is that why he's sad? There's nothing wrong with it. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Elephants use their trunks to smell, grab food, and take dust baths. They also use them to suck up water, then spray it into their mouths to drink. African elephants have two finger-like growths at the tip of their trunks that allow them to grab smaller objects. So elephant trunks are pretty important. But baby elephants must first learn how to use them. Aww, the younger elephant is sad because he's not as good as his brother. Then let's teach him how to use his trunk. What a lovely idea. Good luck with that, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Go on, give it a try. Put your trunk in the water, then suck. Aww. It's okay. Let's try again. Huh? Whoa, that's a lot of water. He's like a fountain. Hey! <gasps> Where are you going? Come back! It's wrong to show off like that. It's okay. Your brother knows he's wrong. We can help you with your trunk. Slow down. Huh? Oh, no! Oh, no! He is trapped. Hang on. We'll get you out. Jane, you stay here with Zumi to watch him. The rest of us will get Platypus One. Got it. Oh, no! <sighs> he is all right. Uh-oh. Platypus One is not powerful enough. What should we do now? He's going to the river. He is soaking up water. But what's he doing with it? If we fill the hole with water, he can swim out of there. Good thinking, buddy. Come on, Rangers. Let's give him a hand. I don't think that's enough. It's going to take forever to fill it up. We need more help. Whoa. Amazing. What's going on? He called for backup. He's instructing them. All right. It'll be filled with water in no time. Let's do this, Rangers. That should do it. Yes. All right. We did it. We turned that frown upside down. Bye, Bye elephants! Whoa there! Aww. Aww. He'll be fine. Big brothers can get annoying sometimes, but they'll always be there for you. Huh? See you on the other side, Zumi. It is on! Ooh. What was that? Those are not rocks. They are hippos. But why are there so many of them here? Maybe Leo can solve this mystery. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hello, Leo. Something strange is happening. A small mud hole is swamped with hippos. Have a look at this photo. Hmm. That is strange. But don't worry, Jane. We'll figure it out when we get there. Here 
it is, the hippopotamus. Hippopotamus, or hippos, tend to live in large groups with as many as 200 hippos. Hippos are semi-aquatic mammals. That means they live both on land and in water. But hippos spend most of their time in rivers, lakes, and mud holes to stay cool. In fact, hippos can close their nostrils and hold their breath underwater for as long as five minutes. So, the hippos want to stay cool. But why do they choose such a small mud hole? I'm not sure, Katie. We'll just have to head there to find out why. Whoa! Hi, Jane. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Poor hippos. They're squashed like sardines. We should help them find a bigger place to stay cool. A lake? Let's see. A lake. Found one! There's a huge lake just over that hill. Do you see the lake, Jane? You are not going to believe this. Huh? Where's the lake? Look, it's... Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> what are you doing, Ranger Rocky? A rain dance to summon rain. The weather has been a lot warmer this year. And it hasn't been raining much. Would the rain dance work, Ranger Rocky? The hippos are in need of water. I can only hope it would. But what's this about the hippos? They're all squashed up in a small mud puddle. Do you know more about them? I sure do. Hippos might look friendly, but they're dangerous animals. They're super strong and have a mighty bite. The mud puddle is simply too small. We have to find them a new home. I know of a huge river that hasn't dried up. Perfect. We can herd the hippos there. How do you plan to do that, Leo? Hmm. What do hippos eat? Hippos love to eat plants like grasses, small shoots, and reeds. I've got it. I know how we can herd them. All right. Hang tight, rangers. River, here we come. <laughs> We're here! Enjoy! Huh? What's wrong, little guy? It is Mother Hippo. We need to bring her baby back to her. Let's go, Rangers. Platypus One, activate! Hang on, everyone. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Don't worry, little buddy. We'll get you to your mama. It will be okay. Excuse me! Coming through! Gotta get a baby hippo back to its mom! Whoa! <laughs> Hang on, guys! I got you! Oh. I think I'm going to be sick. Uh-oh. Stop! Don't fight! Break it up! It was just an accident! <gasps> oh, no! We are sinking! What do we do now? Activate flight mode! The wings will keep us afloat! Got it! Platypus One, activate! It's the Mama Hippo! Leave it to me, Junior Rangers! <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Pardon me! Sorry! Pardon me! Go to Mama! Yay! Now let's get out of here! I love a happy ending! Mission accomplished! Embark on an incredible adventure with Leo the Wildlife Ranger! Choose a level. 
dive into thrilling challenges, and solve fun puzzles, all while exploring the wonders of nature. Tons of captivating gameplay and educational content await as you help Mother Nature and save the Earth. Introducing offline play and watch videos on the go. No internet connection needed. Leo the Wildlife Ranger Kids Games app. Download now and let the journey begin. We are here. Wow, where does this river lead to, Jane? Hmm, I am not sure. Huh? Guys, look! A pink lizard! But lizards aren't pink. Do you think it's sick? What if it has a fever? Let's not jump to conclusions, Leo. <laughs> You're right. Smile! I've sent you its photo, Katie. Can you find out more about it? I'm already on it. Oh, it's not your average lizard. It's a panther chameleon. Panther chameleons can change the color of their skin. They can blend in with their surroundings to camouflage themselves. The chameleons mostly change colors to reflect their mood, communicate with other chameleons, and to warm up or cool down. Oh, so it isn't sick after all. It just changed its color to pink. Yep, panther chameleons prefer to live on their own and can get aggressive towards other chameleons invading their home. Males will become more vibrant in color when competing with other males. Hey, it's another chameleon. Uh-oh. <gasps> they both want the same tree. But there are plenty of trees around. What if we host a friendly competition for them? Whoever wins gets the tree fair and square. No fighting. Round one, the chameleon that changes the most colors in one minute wins. May the best chameleon win. Two, one. Time's up. And the winner of round one is the pink, no, red chameleon. Yay! <sighs> it's all right. We'll win the next round. But what's next? Let's see. According to my research, chameleons have eyes that can move in two directions at the same time. Hmm, fascinating. They also have very sticky tongues. Their tongues can be twice as long as their bodies when stretched out to catch insects. Cool. That gives me a tongue-tastic idea. The first chameleon who catches the spider with its long, sticky tongue wins. Three, two, one, go! Come and get it! Over there! Whoa! It's right there! Almost! So close! Yes! Now! Oops! <laughs> to Platypus One. Junior Rangers to the rescue. Platypus One, activate. Oh no! Let's split off. Katie and Hero, you guys go after the red chameleon. Jane, Zumi, and I will follow the blue one. Got it. Jetpack, activate. We got this. for you! Just a little closer. Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky? What? And what are you guys up to? We're trying to rescue a panther chameleon that fell into the water. Oh dear, they're not known to be strong swimmers. Yes, panther chameleons are great grabbers. They have large toes on their hands and feet, as well as a prehensile tail that helps them cling onto branches. I trust you Rangers to rescue the chameleon. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Onwards. The red chameleon has to be here somewhere. Do you see it, Hero? Wait for me, Hero. Straight 
strange. We followed the river all the way downstream. But where's the blue chameleon? Leo, do you think it might have drowned? Don't worry. I'm sure it's all right. We'll find it. I know we will. Oh, good job, Hero. There you are. You're safe now. There's some driftwood up ahead. Let's see if it's there. Hey, guys. Look who we found. Welcome back. Did you find the blue communion? Nope. But it has to be here somewhere. Let's just continue to look. Got it, Leo. I found it! Oh, false alarm. It's all right. Keep at it, Rangers. Huh? What's wrong? Are you trying to tell me something? <gasps> it's over here! The red chameleon found its buddy! Oh, yeah, I see it. You know, chameleons turn a darker shade when they're stressed out. Aww. There you go. Home sweet home. They are friends now. No more fighting. Embark on an incredible adventure with Leo the Wildlife Ranger. Choose a level. Dive into thrilling challenges and solve fun puzzles, all while exploring the wonders of nature. Tons of captivating gameplay and educational content await as you help Mother Nature and save the Earth. Introducing offline play and watch videos on the go. No internet connection needed. Leo the Wildlife Ranger Kids Games app. Download now and let the journey begin. <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Fara. Hi, Leo. I've got some amazing news. I discovered a unicorn. Wow, a real-life unicorn? Unicorns aren't real. But it's right here in front of me. Here, I'll send you a photo. Oh, it does have a horn on its head, just like a unicorn. Hmm, there's only one way to be sure. Let's check the computer. Right behind you, Katie. Meanwhile, Farah, don't lose sight of that unicorn. Roger that, Leo. Ranger out! This will be the most amazing discovery. I'm not going to lose it. <gasps> I lost it. Oh, no. Where did it go? 
Unicorn, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hmm, I've got a sinking feeling. Ah, quicksand! Whew! <gasps> oh no, more quicksand! In times like this, check the Junior Ranger handbook. Quacking, no. Quails, not quite. Where's quicksand? The unicorn! Huh? Two horns? Hmm. It's not a unicorn. It's an Arabian oryx. Oh, it has two horns, not one. That's right, Leo. We simply have to look at it from a different angle. The Arabian oryx was almost extinct, but it was saved in captivity and brought back into the wild. Its long straight horns can grow to about 70 centimeters long. They use their horns to protect themselves and defend their homes. We should tell Farah it's not a unicorn. You want me to hold your horns? All right. Ah! Oof. Thank you, two-horned unicorn. Now, where's my... My handbook! No! Wait! My book! <gasps> my dirt bike! My book! My dirt bike! Leo, it's an emergency! I need help! What's wrong, Farah? Are you okay? I'm okay, but my dirt bike is not! It's stuck in quicksand! Quicksand? We'll be right over to help you get it out, Farah! Ranger, out! Let's go, Katie. Farah is trapped in the desert. My dirt bike! I thought I'd lost you. Thank you so much. No problem, Farah. Now I have to go get my handbook back. Your handbook? Yeah, the two-horned unicorn. You mean the Arabian oryx. Oh, so that's what it is. The Arabian oryx left with my handbook. It must be long gone by now. Don't worry, Farah. We'll help you get it back. Maybe Hero can find its scent. <laughs> and I'll scan the horizon with my binoculars. Huh? Ranger Rocky! Ranger Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you Rangers doing in the middle of the desert? An Arabian Oryx ran off with Farah's handbook, and we can't find it. Do you know anything that might help, Ranger Rocky? An Arabian oryx travels long distances in search of food and water, but they can survive without water for many days, weeks even. It is said that an Arabian oryx can smell rain from far away. Once it detects the scent of rain, it will travel towards it in search of the fresh grass that grows because of the rainfall. Hmm, rainfall? I can check the weather on my tablet. Rain clouds are gathering over there! Then that must be where the Oryx is heading. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Let's go. Wait for me, Handbook. I'm coming for you. Good luck, Junior Rangers. <laughs> it's getting cold. And dark. And creepy. Ah! Did you see that? What? I don't see anything. But it was right there! There it is again! Where? There! G -g -g ghost <laughs> But ghosts aren't real. Hmm. I don't think it's a ghost either. Let's get closer to check it out. Now, what do we have under here? My handbook! Be careful, Farah. I'll get it for you. Pardon me, Arabian Oryx. Just have to get this for my friend. Got it. Yay, my handbook! Thanks, guys! Hit subscribe and click the like icon.